guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're here at Missy TV. For today's video, we're going to discuss about multiplying monomials to a polynomial. Okay, so for example, so find the product of the following. So we have here number 1, 3 times x plus 4. And then for number 2, we have 2x times 3 minus 4. And then for number 3, we have 7x times 2x minus 3. So first is to answer number 1. So what we're going to do is to use the distributive property. Okay, so 3 times x. So 3 times x is 3x. Alright, so next 3 times positive 4. So we have positive 12. So this is the final answer. Again, so use the distributive property. So 3 times x, we have 3x. Three, 3 times positive 4 is positive 12. Next, in number 2, so 2, again, we're going to use the distributive property. So 2x times x is x, uh, 2x squared. Because what we're going to do is just to add the exponent. So we have imaginary 1 here and also 1 here. Imaginary exponent 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. That's why we have x squared. Okay. Next, 2x times negative 4. So we have negative 8x. So our answer is 2x squared minus 8x. Next, again, so we will use the distributive property. So we have 7x times 2x minus 3. So 7x times 2x. So we have 2 times 7 is 14. And then x times x is x squared. That's why we have 14x squared. Next, 7x times negative 3 is equal to negative 21x so, our final answer in number 3 is 14x squared minus 21x. Alright, so for number 4, we have here 6x squared times 3x plus 9. So, again, we will use the distributive property. So, 6x squared times 3x is 6 times 3 is 18. And then, we're going to add the exponent of our x. So, x. 2 plus 1 is 3. That's why we have x cubed. Okay? Next, x, 6x x squared times 9 is, since this is positive, so write positive. So, 9 times 6 is 54. And just write 2, just write x squared. Okay? Next, in number 5, so we have 7x times x minus 7. So again, we will use the distributive property. 7x times x is 7x squared. We have 2 here because we're going to add the exponent of our x here. So 1 plus 1 is 2. Next, since this is negative, so put negative because 7 times negative 7 is negative 49. And just add x. Okay, so our final answer here in number 5 is 7x squared minus 41, 49x. And by the way, our answer in number 4 is 18x cubed plus 54x squared. And then in number 6, so we have here 2x cubed times 3x to the 4th power minus 7x cubed plus 5. So again, use the distributive property. So 2x cubed times 3x to the 4th power. So, let's uh, make it easy. So, 2 times 3 is 6. Since they have the same um, variable, so just copy x. And then, we're going to add the exponent. So, this is 3 and 4. So, 4 plus 3 is 7. So, we have here 6x raised to 7th power. Next is this one. Okay. 2x cubed times negative 7x cubed. So, 7 times 2 is 14. So, this is negative. So, negative 14. So, we have the same variable. So, write x. Next, so we're going to add the exponent. So, 3 
plus 3 is 6. So, we have negative 14x raised to 6 power. Next, 2x cubed times 5. So, um, 5 times 2 is 10. So, this is positive. So, write positive 10. And just copy x squared. So, I x cubed. So, x cubed. Okay, so our answer in number 6 is 6x to the 7th power minus 14x to the 6th power plus 10 cubed.